Cleaning bikes can be a real pain, but I hate riding dirty bikes. I just absolutely hate it. So I had to come up with a way of keeping my bikes clean that didn't take ages and wasn't a faff. Here's my five minute bike cleaning routine that I can do immediately after every ride, especially in the wet, so that my bike never gets really filthy and I can always set off with a shiny bike. The first thing I do when I get in is immediately fill a bucket of hot water with washing up liquid. Now some people complain that it damages the paint, but I've never found this to be a problem. Before I start washing though, here is my controversial technique. I use WD-40 as my degreaser. I know, I can almost hear the disgust from here, but I'm disorganised, it's always on hand and it works for me, so give it a try. Put the chain in the big ring and the smallest sprocket at the back, and then spray WD-40 on your chain and cassette and give them a bit of a spin. Now I get my bucket of hot soapy water and start getting stuck in with a car sponge. I start at the top of the bike with the handlebars first and I'm pretty generous with the amount of water that I'm using. I also do the saddle at this point because if any crap comes off it then I've still got time to wash it off the rest of the bike as it drips down. I've actually got the end of a broken brush to clean underneath my saddle. Still works pretty well even though it's got no handle anymore. Now wash the top tube and the down tube and the rest of the bike. The front of the bike now, it's time to pop the front wheel out so that I can wash it properly and also wash the inside of the forks and particularly inside the brake calipers where all that black crap hangs around. Front wheel next, take your sponge and quickly run it over the tyre, pressing quite firmly on the brake surface of the rim just to get any kind of black gunk off the rim that collects if you've been braking. Then it's time to turn to the rim. You can do this really quickly. Look. And then the spokes and then finally the hub. With the front wheel still out, it's time to do the same with the back wheel. Now rest the bike on the tips of the fork blades and on the brake levers there, it's much better for it than having it upside down. And it also means you can clean the grubbiest bit of the bike, the rear triangle. Seat stays, brake calipers, and then chain stays, particularly the drive side. Next, the back wheel. Approach it exactly the same as the front, except give the cassette a good going over as well. The WD-40 you sprayed on earlier will have loosened up any kind of oil or grease, so it should come up really quickly. Now, the tire and the rim. Time to put the wheels back in now as we're on to the last bit, the drivetrain. While you've been cleaning the rest of the bike, the WD-40 will have been gently degreasing the chain. So with the chain still on the big ring, I take my black gunky sponge and just start to rush it like that. You can see that straight away it comes up really clean. Now, if the chain has been really, really thickly coated in old oil, it might take a second going over with WD-40. So if that's the case, just give it another spray on. Rear mech now, and it shouldn't take much to keep this clean. Because I clean it regularly, a sponge will do. Just put it against the jockey wheels, give it a bit of a spin. Right, chain rings now, nearly there. Remember to do both front and back of the chain rings. Back to the chain now, my clean sponge, and just a quick going over with soap and water, and it should be pretty much close to spotless now. Now that's all the cleaning done, all I need to do now is rinse all the dirty soapy water off the bike. A hose bike would be great for that, but failing that, just a bucket of clean water. Now for the ultimate cheats trick. I use WD-40 for the lubricant as well as the degreaser. Now I know every rule in the book says that this isn't going to work, but 
I've used nothing but for the last five years. And in the UK, in winter, doing five hour training rides, that says quite a lot. And I don't just use it for the road as well, I use it for cyclocross and mountain biking too. Now if you use a normal degreaser, the WD-40 isn't gonna work. It'll last five minutes and you'll end up with a dry chain. But if you use it for both degreasing and lubricant, for some reason it seems to work. Now, before you cry foul, actually, WD-40 have not paid me to endorse their product. So this is just me being a lazy bike rider looking for a cheap trick. Spray it on your bike, on the chain, cassette, derailleur, derailleur, brake caliper, brake caliper. Try making it part of your riding routine. Just five minutes after a ride and you'll always get to ride a shiny bike. It'll last longer and it'll work better. And if after that you still think the WD-40 sucks, feel free to complain in the comment section down below. To find out how to do a more thorough deep clean of your bike, including degreasing your chain, click on that video. To subscribe, click on me.